What were you thinking? I was thinking she needed this. She needed this? To get a heart attack to make your job more fun? Mother, please, Dr. Castillo was just trying to help me. Help? By dragging you in here to no, see the man who... There was no dragging. No, just some wheeling. Oh, you think you're so funny. Why are you all in here? You know something? That is a very good question. Why, doctor? What kind of a doctor brings his patient in here to have a face-to-face -face with the man who killed her husband? The kind who thinks that she's killing herself because she can't get David out of her head and she can't figure out why. I woke up and I saw David standing at the foot of my bed. What? How, how is that possible? It was a hallucination. Oh, of course. The medication, you're on so much medication. Yeah, the drugs have something to do with it. Well, okay, well, you know what, whatever's going on here, this cannot be good for Kendall's condition, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Come on, let's, let's take Kendall back to her room. Don't you want to know why she's feeling what she's feeling? Aren't you a cardiac surgeon? Oh, look at that. <sighs> Saved by the bell. Run while you still can. Sorry if you think I overstepped my bounds. No, no, I mean it. Go, go. Dr. Castillo was right to bring me here. I have been thinking about David a lot, and I have no idea why. But every time I close my eyes, he's in my head, and I can't stop thinking about him. And it's not good. Okay, so you're having dreams about him or nightmares or what? Yes, of course you're having nightmares about him. You're thinking about him. He just killed your husband. And of course, that's the whole reason why you're here in the first place. And, and I, I, I still think that Dr. Castillo continues to over-medicate you. I'm going to speak to him about that. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. You know, I don't care if he's thrilled. This is not something to joke about. I don't think it's funny. Well, what do we have here? Perfect. Well, lucky David. I'm surrounded by all the people who love him. You two here to finish him off? you just barge in here with your accusations, Liza. My daughter's heart is very fragile right now. Oh, so what was that? A little friendly little visit with David. Tell me, Kendall, do you still blame him for Zach's death? Okay. Unless you want to be brought up on charges of harassing my daughter, counselor, you leave now. I'm David's advocate. I decide who stays and who goes. And I say, all of you, go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Kendall back to her room. Oh, that's a great idea. But but nothing to upset Kendall, right? You understand, Ryan? Because the idea is to keep Kendall's blood pressure down. Mom, aren't you coming with us? Uh, actually, I need a word with Liza. Okay. Fantastic. It's going to be one of those days, huh? Liza, my daughter just lost her husband. On top of having a very serious heart condition. This would not be the time for you to come and add any more stress for her. Okay, thank you for the memo. It's not a memo. It's a warning, Liza. One more mention of Zach or David. Or the fact that Kendall tried to kill him. She did no such thing. <sighs> really? So what was she doing? Was she just trying to fluff his pillow? Suffocation never crossed her mind. Oh, are you a mind reader now? Well, Counselor, I think you need to brush up on the law. Because you can't bring somebody to trial just because you believe that they were thinking about murder. God, what must be like? What must what be like? It's for you. Right? The Erica Kane. The object of everybody's faithful attention. Wow, jealousy looks so pathetic on you. Yeah, that's not jealousy. Oh, yes, it certainly is. And it's desperation. Mm -hmm. Because why else would you be coming at me like a bat out of hell when you know very well you don't have a case? <laughs> Please. That's it? That's the best you can do? Please? What would you like me to say? That you want what I have. Success. Both professional and personal. Because let's face it, Liza... You are a failure at both. Uh, okay, Ryan, honestly, I think you should go back and check on my mom. She seemed pretty pissed off. Let's just say it's a good thing we're in a hospital for Liza's sake. How you doing? 
Better. I got to say some things to David that I needed to say. I don't know if he heard me, he wasn't even awake, but it felt good. I'm glad to hear that. Is there anything that I can do? Yeah, actually, you can go home. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, I mean, I, I'm sure you have better things to do than to babysit me. Besides, I'm tired, I need to get some rest. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thank you for coming, though. You call me if you need anything, okay? Or if you just want to talk. Okay? Let's close your eyes. I will. So I know you're sleeping. <laughs> Sweet dreams, okay? Thank you. So can I get you something, honey? Something from the cafeteria? God, Mom, I hate it here. I really hate it. I just want to get out of here. Oh, I don't blame you, honey, after what Dr. Castillo put you through. No, I, he, he was just trying to help. Uh, spilling my guts was, was supposed to make me feel better. And it did, a little. Well, when when you say that you couldn't get David out, out of your head, you told him about the nightmares, right? Or was there something more? It mostly happens at night. That's That's when I see him, when I'm sleeping. But this time, I swear, Mom, I was awake. And he was standing there, staring at me, and it was like he was pointing at me. Well, you know, honey, you are on so much medication, and, and I'm sure that, you know, maybe you just thought that you were awake. Okay, so what does this mean now that, that I'm now I'm hallucinating? I mean, it's like I'm remembering something. Remembering what? I keep remembering what I did to David. What, what I almost did. Sometimes I, I can't believe that it was me standing there holding that pillow. Oh, honey. I just want you to put that out of your mind. Well, I can't. Yes, you can. You really can. Aside from your health, there is nothing for you to worry about. I worry about you, Mom. Me? Why? Why? Um, New Year's Eve? You lost your sobriety? Look, I told you that that was just a momentary thing and it's over. It's, that's done. And anyhow, it was just it was one sip. And I have been to several meetings since then. Okay. Well, then there's also the attempted murder charges. Jack and Caleb have that well under control. Okay. You listen to your mother. She speaks the truth about this matter. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm uh, feeling a little better. Good. Yeah, Good. I just, I cannot wait to just go home. <laughs> I'm sure that's true. How about you? Well, I'm fine. If my family's fine, I'm fine. Amen, sister. <laughs> listen, can I speak to you outside for just a minute? Will you excuse us? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure, okay. I'm right back. Okay, all right. See you. So, what's going on? Well, I was hoping you could tell me. I just had a conversation with Liza. Oh, you and me both. I see. Did she tell you that Caleb came to her with a deal? Or better yet, did he tell you himself? No. What deal? Well, <clears throat> I didn't get the details, but it involved a guilty plea. To what? A lesser charge. There'd be no jail time, but probably some community service and an exorbitant fine, which... For some unknown reason, Caleb has volunteered to pay himself. Oh. Oh. Well, yes, I mean, it seems like Caleb is just doing everything he can to get me off, and for that, I'm nothing but grateful. Hey. I think your mother likes me. She's a little overprotective. A little. For whatever it's worth, I'm glad you took me to see David. Your methods may be out there, but they work. Well, I got good news. Your BP is down. So, do I get to go home? I said it was down. It's not where I want it. Okay, well, then you better step it up. I'm giving you 24 hours. 24 hours for what? To get me sprung. Because if not, I'm signing myself out. I don't care what my blood pressure is. 
I would give anything to see David Hayward just rot in that bed. Well, while I share that sentiment, it would complicate your case considerably. Well, I just care about Kendall. 